Hey, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast All Day. Matt Christy Alonzo here to talk about The Fight, a new documentary about the ACLU, which I have not seen. So I'm going to shut up and let um, Christy tell you all about it. You should see it, though. I, I, I want to. I The week got away from me, but I do want to see it. You're kind of the target audience for it, Alonzo. For sure. Yes. <laughs> so this follows four different, actually five different ACLU lawyers working on four different issues. One is immigration. One is women's reproductive rights. One is LGBT rights. One is the census question about whether you are a U.S. citizen, which sounds like it's the driest of the four, but actually ends up being the most emotional at the end. And so you have two lawyers who are working on the LGBT issue, um, one of whom is transgender. And it's about how their jobs got infinitely more complicated once Trump got elected. Because Trump's administration just systematically went after all of those things that were under their purview. And so this is from the directors of the Anthony Weiner documentary. And they get their arms around a lot that is very complicated while also making you feel like you are a fly on the wall in hearings and meetings and cab rides and train rides and late night hotel brief writing cram sessions. And um, a lot of it might seem theoretically like it would be a little dry possibly but it's thrilling the way it's the way it's cut is like a high stakes political thriller because that's truly what it is um there is so much on the line for so many people i mean it begins with um the immigration lawyer who is you know working to get kids out of cages and working to get families reunited and it's incredibly emotional um, the, the women's reproductive rights lawyers working with a 17-year-old who was um, a detainee. She walked across the border from Mexico and then found out she was pregnant. She had been raped. She found out she was pregnant and um, she wanted to have an abortion. And she was a, a Jane Doe case out of Texas. Um, the LGBT lawyers are trying to figure out what to do once Trump tweets about banning transgender uh, military service members and what does that mean and then the lawyer dealing with the census question of course upends everything about the way that we live and the way that f federal money is allocated you know and people who are in support of the question are like what's the big deal why shouldn't we ask you whether you're a citizen or not and uh, he ends up going all the way to the supreme court to argue that that's unconstitutional and so they put you right there in the middle of it. I don't know how they did this <laughs> because they're everywhere all at once. And they're juggling these complicated topics that are all taking place simultaneously. So they must have had like camera crews embedded and just working 24 seven. It's a really impressive effort. Um, yeah, I really like this. I wonder, Carrie Washington, the actor came on as producer for this. Um, and she went to school with, I think his name is Daniel Ho, who's the one who- Dale Ho. In, Dale Ho. Um, mm. she, they went to school together. Okay. Um, and that, I wonder, you know, I can't help but wonder if that's a little part of it, that then that's the end that then he kind of introduces the idea to the other three cases and they get to follow this mm -hmm. stuff along. It is mm. fascinating because one of the things it does really well is- Maybe just David Ho, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, talk about how, why these cases matter without getting into like great, you know, and yes, we know, you know, if you follow what the cases are about, you know, just in general, you can figure that out. But the movie keeps it relatively simple mm -hmm. and relatively urgent. Um, and I like that a lot. And they, you know, the sad thing is they don't all win. Um, but there's one of the things it does that's also really great because of the access they get is it you see the you know both the fatigue and then the joy mm -hmm. that happens and the frustration and it really like yeah right these are people fighting for things that matter to them um you know and i i thought it was terrific i really really like this i think it does a lot of really good stuff um as far as kind of taking you along this journey and 
explaining. I mean, you know, this is this is definitely a doc with a point of view. Um, you know, you'll come out of this like, hey, I want to work for the ACLU practically. <laughs> um, but I, you know, it, it's interesting because the, then they'll get into some of the past cases that they've talked about, like they fought for the rights of um, the Charlottesville uh people to right. right like those guys with the tiki torches they fought for the rights for those guys to have their parade and right. that has know, to happen too you got for free equal speech for everybody right right and and one of the one of the directors of the aclu they talked to is like i don't think that was the right decision yeah you know and it's it's interesting because they do talk to some of the higher-ups not just some of the attorneys that are fighting this and and what's interesting about the case for the for the trans rights is how there's two attorneys working on it and the one who actually is a trans man they have that discussion as to whether or not he's the right person to argue that case because he's not experienced enough mm -hmm. um and you know they make the decision that the more experienced uh cisgender lawyer goes and does the arguing mm -hmm. um and it's you know i'll leave it up to everybody to decide whether that's you know whether that's the right call but it is a little bit of in a nutshell what happens with the consistent uh kind of over overlooking people right. um marginalized like they never get the experience to actually like it's hard to put them in those positions Sometimes, yeah, it's it's fascinating. Yeah, they took uh, just a minute to have that conversation, but I, I learned so much from it. I thought that was very worthwhile to take the time to do that. Anyway, I appreciate all the really, really hard work these folks put in. It seems emotional. It would take a toll on your sleep and your health and your family, and you've got to be super dedicated to these causes, and I, I have great appreciation for, for what they do. So um, I am saying 8.1. Uh, I'm giving it an 8. I'm right there with you. All right, so 8.1 is our number. And I think this is available in a variety of places to watch. Yes, right? it is. Yes, All from, Mag from Magnolia. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us at BeFast all day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash day. Exclusive stuff for our subscribers, including this week, a review of the Shudder Horror exclusive host the first movie to be filmed, like, first, right? One of the only ones I know Seems of. Like it, to be yeah. filmed during quarantine via Zoom. Uh, we have plenty to say about that. So check it out, won't you? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.